my image flipped around now. The word paste is backward. I apologize. I guess this is just going to be my week for Tech Challenged. So let's start this over. Um, on Sunday, I did the flowers coming out of the watering can, and I was Tech Challenged that day too, and it was with audio. So it was so poor that what I'm going to do is show you what to do if there's a mistake. And the issue really is with Talk to Tour, there is no mistakes. Um, we can fix anything. So, <clears throat> what you can't see off camera is I have this. I've used it a couple times, so it's kind of mucky, but this thing of water. And I have a Octator sponge. And all you do, if you haven't sealed something, if you sealed it, you're, it's, it's yours forever. But if it's not sealed, and you want to change something, take this little scrubby sponge, and make it go away. This is one of the great things about chalk is say you have a frame that you like and it was expensive so you don't want to do something seasonal on it and then put it away. You want to be able to change it. Well, if you use a chalkboard from Chalk Couture, now they don't guarantee this will work with anybody's chalkboard, but with a Chalk Couture board, you can do this. You just take your last season's artwork and you wash it away, make a new one. Careful that I don't wash away any of the flower pot because I want to keep that and I've dripped water on it, which is probably not good. Okay. So, with that. Awesome. That we have erased what was there so we can start over. And today I think you probably can hear me better. So there we go. And I'm just going to take a microfiber rag and kind of speed up the drawing a little bit here. Okay. So now only thing that you missed really in the last lesson was I had the the um, flowers that I cut apart. So this was the piece that's the stems. <clears throat> and since they've already been used, I don't need to fuzz them again. I'm just going to put that right there. And then since I really don't want to get the green down there, and because, as I've said so many times, I'm really messy, I'm going to tape that off, and I just have some regular duct tape that I use. How's everybody's afternoon going? Well, I hope it is a Monday. Even in quarantine, it's a Monday. 
Hang on one second while I open this. It's really well. You're watching me live, so shout it out there in the comments so I can say hey to you. All right, so then I'm just going to take a little piece of duct tape. And I don't want my ink to go past there. So when I'm inking the stems, that will keep me from making this. If you're a neat person and you can do this without going past, you don't need to do that. I know myself well, and I'm not that neat. I'm just going to wipe up some water spots that on the can when we were cleaning it up. Okay. So this is. Rainforest is what this color looks like. And I'm going to take my little Ouija. Squeegee that on and then throw that squeegee into the water pan so I can wash it and reuse it. And pull this up and ta-da, stems. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull off my the tape off of my transfer so it's back to my regular transfer. And I think I'm gonna have to shift this up some or I'm gonna be working off camera to be able to see. All right, so we also haven't gone over how to wash these stencils, and I usually just throw them in a bath, but then I wash them when I'm done with our lives. But since I've got my water and we're already kind of messy here, let me show you. Again, I'm just taking my sponge, and this is a special kind of sponge that Park Couture has. Um, a whole lot like the Mr. Clean sponges, is that what they're called? So all I did was wipe the paste off the top of that. Rinse my sponge. Wipe the paste off of the back. There really wasn't any on the back, but I was doing right. Okay. Then I can just set this aside to dry and put it on the backer as soon as it's dry. If I wanted to use it again, I would use the microfiber side of my fuzzing mat to dry it with. But I don't need to use this again right away, so and I don't want to take up your time with that. That's what you would do, so I'm just going to set this aside. Okay, let me put our back. Let's see. I am also really bad about not putting the lids back on my paste nice and tight. That right away because I'm not going to be using this color again. Okay. So then the flowers, these were from the same transfer as the stems. They're from the <clears throat> flower market collection. And I will link to that transfer um, that I'm done with the live. But these are the flowers that I cut off that transfer last time. Um, so a couple of more pieces. I want to see what it looked like. That was with it, and then the little bag that you would have the flowers growing out of. So I'll probably use some more of this, but right now let's just get the flowers done. So 
I think when I did it before, I did the big flowers around the top first, but I think I'm going to work up and over. And I also have this cute little bird from the gather transfer that I want to put on the handle. So I think I'm going to put the bird on next so that I'm sure. Yeah, let's wait and put him on top. He might need to be a top layer. Figure this out. Sometimes when you start on layers, you got to think where you want things to end up. So I'm going to start with this flower, and I want to make sure that my green is nice and dry before I put this transfer over it. I'm going to grab my hair dryer. It's going to be loud for a minute. <laughs> and it helps if you turn the lights on. And we have one. Okay. So, as I said, I think I'm going to start with my smaller one. I'm just going to try to line this up. Right with that stem. And I'm just going to put my finger over it, make sure it's in here, okay? And I want my little bird to be a blue. I was going to be close to him, so I think I'm going to do it in this pretty little kind of a purple. It's called wisteria. So I think I'm going to do this little flower in wisteria. And as always, this is nice and already nice and creamy, but we always want to give it a stir. Just it's properly mixed. And if you're worried about wasting on your stir stick, here you go. Here's a tip. Push your stir stick onto your project and you're good to go. So I'm going to take my squeegee. There was actually enough paste on that stir stick to do this whole flower. Are you ready? Here comes the big reveal. I love this part. Ta-da! We made a flower. Okay. So I'm probably going to use this one again over here on this side. And I'm going to use the same color so I don't need to wash it again. But what I do need to do is dry the other flower. Only because this transfer is going over the top of it, and even if I don't push it down on that side, it's still going to pull up some of the paste if it's not dry. So again, I'm using my wisteria pulled paste right across that whole flower. Squeegee up my excess and put it back into my jar. And, and ta-da, we have another flower. All right, so now I'm going to put that into the water bath that I've got over here beside. And I think I am going to go ahead and take a second and wash it. I'm off camera, you guys, but you saw that I did. Um, I just don't want to risk getting water all over my project, so I'm going to stay over here to the side. And all I've done is just wash this little flower off. In case I decide I want to use it again in a different color. And again, I'm going to just dry these flowers. Uh, 
Okay. And so now I think I'm going to put some of these other flowers in. Um, this one is kind of reminds me of a daisy. A little bit of paste that's still stuck on the back of my head. up a little bit before I stick it on. Alrighty, so then I'm going to need to wait for this to dry a little bit. Okay, so this one looks kind of like a daisy. And I apologize if my head is like in the middle of the camera, but there's a short arm that needs to reach across the project. That out and I think I don't know I think I want pink on this one but I had on it before this one is peony this one is pink grapefruit I think the pink grapefruit is closer to the it's in the room this is going to go in so I'm going to And give this a stir. I see it's nice and creamy already, so I don't need to do too much with it. And then I'm just going to not waste the tape on the stir stick. I've said over and over, it's amazing how little paste it takes to do them. Like, this jar will last a lifetime if I take care of it. What was on that stick was just about enough to do this whole flower. And turn that excess to the jar. Now, I have a whole pile of these squeegees, so I just keep grabbing a clean one and throwing them in my water every time I change colors. Um, if you don't have that many squeegees, and you can buy a pack of 12, so it's easy to have that many squeegees. They're not that expensive. Um, and what you're going to be doing is in between each color, you're going to be taking that squeegee and just rinsing it and cleaning it off. All righty, let's see how this one turned out. You ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! And we have a flower. Okay, and throw it in the water bath for now. We still have all of these other ones that we can use. And this one kind of reminds me of a hydrangea. And I don't really have a stem for it to attach to, but I'm going to put it over there. And I am on purpose going to, um, oh shoot, I put that in there already. On the next one, I'll show you how to fix it if you forget to dry. And you clean and you pull up some of the paste. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and dry this flower. And my hydrangea. I said I think that's what I did with that. This one right here. Okay, we already used wisteria. We already used pink grapefruit. Um, what do I have left here? I have iris. Okay. 
This one's a little thicker than the others, but it's still creamy enough to work with. Messy me, I'm going to try not to pop it out the sides of the container while I'm stirring. And grab a clean squeegee. Give myself a little dollop of the paste. The excess back in the jar. Use that another time. Put this right back on the chalk. And here we go. Again. Ta da! I just need this because. I am not an artist, not even kind of sort of maybe, and it just tickles me that I can do pictures, my own pictures, because I'm using different transfers and putting them together the way that I want them to be. So, yeah, I can make my own pictures, even though I'm not an artist. <laughs> All right, and this one I'm going to stick up there. And again, I need to think about where my little bird is going to be. So I can stick this one up here. I don't want it to cover up the little birdie. I want it to be close to the birdie, but not covering. So I'm going to put my birdie right there. And right up there. Is where I need to go. Okay. Now it's another kind of hydrangea looking flower. It's bigger. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and use the iris paste. Okay. Now I'm going to use that same squeegee that I thought I was using this again. Squeegees are plastic, they last forever. Use them away. In there. Okay. This one has a little bubble. So what's that, Oak? What you do for a box? Back on my arm. Okay. So now I think I am going to go ahead and put the little bird in. I want him to be perched. If I get my head in the camera, I apologize if I'm messy. I can just see when I put it down the little white line where the handle is. I want him just perched on that line. Now, it's possible. I'm going to go ahead and dry that flower. So even though on top of it, a little bit of his transfer is. Okay. Now let's get the bird back in. All right. This live. You heard the bird screaming earlier. I'm surprised the dog is not barking. That would be the next loud event that would happen is for the dog to bark. Okay. So for the bird, I am going to use that I only have in a packet and I opened the packet the last time so I put it in a plastic bag because again you use so little and none of this stuff is free. 
take good care of it. Now, when you first open a bag, you do like this with it. You kind of knead the bag because you can't stir. So this is kind of the stirring process is kneading. And then I'm just going to squirt out that much should be more than enough to do my little bird. And it's the plastic bag because there's still a lot more in there. Okay, now the bird is a lot screen. The, the part, the green part, of course, is the sticky spot. The white is the screen. So we have something that has a lot of screen, like the bird does. You want to start in the middle and work outward with your pace. What that does is it helps it to, <clears throat> excuse me again, it's allergy season in Phoenix. It helps it to um, cover the screen without really going underneath of it because there's not that much sticky stuff to hold it down. When there's a lot of screen. Now I'm going to go the other direction from the middle. You have a little jar or something that you've stuck this into, you, you know, you can still save your little extra. Um, I usually just use these little lids or something. So I'll try to use more of that color, something like that. It's not always. All right, you ready? Here comes our birdie. Yay! I love birds. Some of my very, very favorite things. All right, I'm going to throw birdie in the little bath. And we still have another larger flower. Want it to be the same color as the other flower that's like it. All that same color thing. Okay. So we are going back to the um I thought I used, yes, I used the pink grapefruit. This is one of these colors that when I got it, I didn't think I really liked it, but since I've been using it, I like it a lot. Okay. That almost looks like you need one right there, doesn't it? Again, same color. I'm just going to do it right away so the ink should be dry too much. Okay, so I'm going to without washing it, reuse it. Good, lead the problems. Let's see what happens. I 
but I cannot dry the flower next to it. So now I'm going to show you what to do when that happens. So this has been used a couple of times, so I think I probably should go ahead and wash it. And I'm going to do that again off camera. You've seen how I did it. Where did I put my little spongy? Okay. Bring this back on camera so you can watch it again. Put that down so if anything drips, it's in there. All right, so all I'm going to do is just use my little spongy, wipe this off. And this is the microsite fiber side of my oven cloth. The nice thing about the chalk couture cloths come with a microfiber side. This is the fuzzy side. This is the microfiber side. So you can just work right away with the same cloth. That dry. Okay. So now let's dry the other flowers. So you don't have to keep going back and forth with buying these flowers. Do is take this transfer and try to line it right back up where it was with this flower. It's going to be a little bit hard because I figured out which one of these. Let's see, there are two long ones with a short one in the middle. So I'm just going to take this transfer right back over it. I still have my paste open and I still have my squeegee out. I'm just going to put some of the paste right over that. Okay. And it's all fixed. Now I do have some spots in there that I'm going to have to clean up. And you get lucky and you don't have to, but dry out with these little squeezes. I'm just going to with either my fingernail or we have this little tool that we can use for that. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this and see if I can get it cleaned up. Okay. Questions, questions. Anybody? Questions? No? Yeah, looks like we're okay. All right. So, without getting my head in the camera, I'm going to take this, probably that side would work better. And I'm just going to kind of get in here and It's delicate work. You can also do this with a wet key pick. So if you don't have this little tool, you just set the edge in it wet. Now, if I really was not liking the way this turned out, I would do what I did at the very beginning and just take my sponge and wipe off the whole flower and call it a day and just do it over again. 
only takes a few minutes to do that. So if you have a mistake that you really don't like, can't live with, and you can't fix, or sometimes when I go to fix them, I make them even worse. Um, All right, so now I see a problem on the little bird that I don't like very well either, so I'm going to go back and fix that. Just wiping down the little bird. It's still sitting in my water bath. Some of this is just how picky are you? I'm pretty picky. So I always want everything to be perfect. All right, bird, let's line them back up right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but there's some holes in the ink. Give him, since I've still got this out, I'm going to give him just a little, little redo of paste in that one little spot. Because it's chalk, we do have to work relatively quickly because it will dry out on us. I'm having it with this chalk that's been sitting in this room. dried out already. But I think it's okay to fix the bird. Yeah, pretty much it did. There's still some lines there, but I can move with them. Alrighty. So that is probably all that I'm going to do on this board right now. Um, I'm looking at it, wondering if I need to put some stems. I could do, I'd have to tape off all of this and that. What the heck? Okay, that because I don't want paste on it. And then in there, paste on it. Yes, my friends, it's duct tape. And I'm going to go back to my rainforest. I'm going to put a blue squeeze in there now because I think it's it's done. I'll put the lid back on this one. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do a stem thing on this side. I hope you can hear me mumbling. <laughs> All right, so I still don't want those side pieces. I just want this one. On stem. And I don't know if you can see my camera, but there's a little piece. Okay, so one more, one more piece of tape and we're taped up. I want it to end right there. Okay. Let's go 
Add out. And my tape mistake. But I can clean that up later. Um, throw that in. And I think we're probably going to call it a day. I could still put in some leaves and burns and stuff. And I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. So I have somebody here helping in the yard. And I probably should go check and see how she's doing. So I am going to call this a day. And if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them into the comments. And I will make sure uh, before the week is over that I have linked what these transfers are that I'm using in this project. So everybody have a crafty day. And I will see you tomorrow at 1. Talk to you then.